forward training. They have a lot of uh, expertise, they work together with a lot of experts, and uh, they do also a lot of scientific research about new needs in the economy and society. As, uh, they, they, they try to look, let's say, 10 years in the future, or uh, if they only can uh, train a certain part of the profession, we will arrange, uh, arrange for cooperating with other companies, yeah? uh, being able to uh, supply these, uh, these missing elements of the uh, training. Uh, we will also keep the uh, register uh, for the vocational training, so you can uh, imagine young people will uh, make a contract with the company about uh, being trained with the system. This contract is registered with the chamber. We check whether this company is able to do what they want, and then we will follow yeah, uh, whether they train the right things. We, 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 we are the institution taking the uh, intermediate and the final exam for this job. And this is very important, important the, the last thing of, of practical, theoretical uh, integration. The chambers will provide uh, examination boards coming from the economy. Yeah? So it's not uh, a chamber guide that takes uh, the final examination, but these are the future colleagues. Yeah? People knowing how the practice is running, who will see what the young people really have uh, learned and whether their learning is adequate to the needs of the future job they have to do. Thank you very much. practical uh, skills with theoretical knowledge. Uh, according to my uh, humble knowledge about the vocational training in the Arab countries, I think we are still uh, lacking a little bit in this field of um, providing uh, sufficient technical skills at the same time uh, theoretical knowledge which is needed in the labor market. And the other thing is a very important the issue of the role of the business and community. Not only the role, but also the contribution, the financial contribution of the business com community in the field of vocation. Somehow, the remaining thinking of the past regime, where the government was controlling everything. And I hope that in the other uh, Arab countries, uh, this question is not anymore that strict that the government is responsible for vocational training and the business community has to just ask and expect from the government to deliver the qualified people. So, uh, and also I know from the conference in May, Dr. Uh, Hesem was also there, that many uh, activities are going on, we will discuss them later. later. So, uh, Actually, we had the idea that, unfortunately, we did not talk of explicitly about that, that this half an hour should be also partly for discussions. <laughs> so now we do. Uh, uh, this is also partly my fault that we did not explicitly talk, uh, talk about that. Uh, now I would like, uh, therefore, to uh, ask you, are there urgent, uh, let's say, understanding questions? We just limit ourselves just to things which, which are not being clear, uh, clear in the presentation. We need clarification. But not discussing the issues, we will have time for that later on. Please. And uh, you, you present your survey. Hi, my name is from the Chamber of uh, Open Test Well, uh, I'm uh, one of those who are admired of the uh, previous uh, German uh, system, the dual system, which is combining the industry and uh, the theory at the same time. 
But uh, well, and I know that uh, you believe uh, from the number of industry and enterprises are attracting those students to join those training programs to be a plumber or a mechanic or a jewelry specialist or in tourism. What, what kind of tools and mechanisms are used? I mean, the vocational guidance or career counseling uh, centers. Could you give us uh, how they are advised to go in that or that way? Okay, the um, first point is um, in the, the actual situation nearly up to now, the problem was not so much that the companies uh, had to be attractive, yeah, uh, but that the young people had to be attractive for the companies, yeah, as we had uh, too many young people and uh, not enough uh, jobs for them. Yeah. So, but now this is changing, but in, uh, in general, uh, of course, um, First thing is that it's a close cooperation uh, between the chamber and uh, schools, normal secondary schools, uh, where we um, go to give lectures about uh, a vocational training scheme uh, in the dual system and also the opportunities young people will have uh, in these fields and, and how it works and what is the advantage. Uh, um, also, uh, companies are uh, renowned for the quality of their education. Yeah? In a certain degree, you know, okay, the company can get a training. Uh, it's not that great, uh, frankly speaking, but people know if you go to company Schwing, yeah, number one, that's great. Yeah? They have a good renown. Yeah? And uh, they are now working on that uh, very strongly. As they can uh, see, within five years there will be a shortage of, uh, of young in itself is attractive for young people. Yeah? Not to go too much into detail, but my daughter is studying law. Yeah? And she will reach her 30th uh, birthday before she is really ready to do uh, a qualified job. And in the very beginning she will not earn that much money. Yeah? And during the last 10 years, she did not earn anything, in fact. Yeah? And uh, one of my sons yeah, he is doing handicraft, he's a painter, yeah? and he earns money since he is 18. Yeah? And now he is 26 and he earns even more money. Yeah? And uh, the question is, when the, uh, the, where was the line yeah, of who earned what? Yeah? Uh, will be in favor of my daughter at, at all one day. Yeah? So uh, working in this uh, in the industry and being trained in the dual system is not a bad uh, choice and not a bad option. Yeah? Do you have the possibility to give you an overview of our activities in the MENA region of Tibet? So first I would like to express my gratitude to the organizers of the meeting, to the Talal Abu Ghazali organization, and also to Invent. So uh, my name is Violeta Brzezinska. I'm working at, uh, as a project manager at Invent, together with Mr. Badalabale in the Department Technological Cooperation System Development in Management in Vocational Education. So I'm originally from Poland, so don't try to pronounce my name, so just say Violeta. So um, my presentation will last, I think, about 20 minutes, so maybe I have to skip some, <laughs> some charts. And uh, the purpose is to show you how my department is organizing, how it's approaching the inter regional and interinstitutional cooperation in the MENA region. So the presentation is structured in four parts. At the beginning, I will give you a very good outline on the current situation in the MENA region in the TV sector, and then I will go into more details, presenting you two projects of invention, and finally I will uh, summarize the main image presentation. So now I would like to start with, uh, with a very short overview and uh, due to the complexity of the topic this uh, it should be understood, understood as their orientation only. So here guys, if you allow me, I would like to share with you some observations 